Kaya FM um, DA application to arrest uh, Putin well uh, that is their application um, government is dealing with those matters uh, so quite uh, uh, in a focused manner and uh, we prefer to leave it at that point. Um, the challenge of the DA of the coming of President Putin to our country is a matter that government must deal with uh, legally. Uh, that is what uh, we prefer. A threat of sanction by the United States of America on our stance regarding Russia <coughs> Nobody should compel South Africa to take sides in terms of the conflict. And so any sanction against our country based on our non-aligned position will be unfair and unjust. And they will be opposed by all the freedom-loving people across the world. And uh, uh, if anything of that sort can actually happen will defend our sovereignty and that's what uh, is important and we have repeatedly said the load shedding has got an impact on the economy and uh, everyone else and that is why we are working on not only reversing but ensuring that our government work to uh, do away uh, with load shedding of course, the time frames we put to this is that uh, we expect load shedding to be done and dusted very soon. Could be before end of the year, end of the year. Um, but we want load shedding gone. That's the principle. Uh, and uh, we're getting reports and uh, we, we're getting positive reports in terms of work that has been done. The minister was in Mozambique yesterday uh, to get extra megawatts. Uh, all the initiatives that have been taken uh, to do away with load shedding are welcomed by the African National Congress. And uh, the plan of action that has been adopted, it is important that it is implemented uh, decisively as it has been done at the present moment. Uh, Pravin Godan on the appeal. Uh, we as the ANC, we had to get uh, feedback on that appeal. And uh, Minister Godan will brief us in the near future about uh, that appeal and the stance that government is taking. Because there's a whole lot of propaganda around it that uh, the ANC government doesn't care uh, for the essential services that are provided to the nation, why is the minister appealing? We are equally not uh, uh, in a position to respond decisively on the matter of the appeal. We believe that government must lead. And that is what we talk about, because we live in a sensitive period where distortion has become the order of the day. So if a minister appeals a decision which is in court, and doesn't explain the reasons why he's appealing, distortions are playing their part in the public domain. So uh, there is no contradictions in terms of what we're doing and uh, what needs to happen in the country about load shedding. Um, the minister's appeal must be explained by the minister and government. So we didn't want to get into that space because uh, there are issues that they seek to address. Uh, for us, it is important to understand first where they come from. So as they appeal, it's important for them uh, to explain. Com uh, Sam Kelo, when it comes to what is the verdict, legally informed, uh, obviously we have said this, that we are signatories uh, to the Rome Statutes, and in this instance, there is a, a precedent when a president of another country came here 
when there was a warrant of arrest. We were taken to court and government lost. So we don't expect our government to do anything illegal and to break the law. Uh, if there are other means necessary uh, to get President Putin to participate in the BRICS summit, can it be virtual or whatever way government can do it, they must do it. But by now we expect our government to have explained our situation as a host country uh, to Russia through the diplomatic channels, our predicament in terms of this matter of President Putin coming into our country and us being signatories to the Rome Statute and where does it place us? It means if we come to South Africa, we have to act. And uh, we, we're not going to be party as a country uh, to arresting a president coming into our country. And that's why as the ANC, we have uh, uh, advanced with the amendment of the Roman Statutes uh, in terms of uh, ensuring that uh, we also, alongside countries like the United Kingdom, which exempt people of special importance like presidents uh, uh, in terms of a possibility of them being arrested. So we expect government to lead on this matter. And we expect by now Russia should know that South Africa as a country and a signatory uh, is constrained. Simple as that. It's not a difficult matter uh, to explain to anyone. We've had uh, the president of Sudan coming here, and then uh, there was application. DA is just acting. Uh, Hollywood style with their court application and so on uh, to claim easy victories. We don't expect our government to act in a manner that undermines the law and the rule of law. So in this is instance, we, we think that the uh, government must provide leadership on this matter and uh, deal with the matter uh, guided by the prescripts of the law uh, we have signed for and uh, we are part of as a country. Is Putin coming to South Africa? We, we don't have clarity with uh, regard to that. Like I explained, as the ANC, I wish to reiterate, would like President Putin to come to our country anytime. But uh, in this instance, uh, the ICC warrant of arrest does constrain, obviously, our government from, from doing so. If in the legal prescript there is a possibility to get President Putin to come to the BRIC summit, we don't have a problem with regard to that because Russia is a member state, a member of uh, the BRICS uh, countries.